way I remember it is um, we were in the backyard bowl and, you know, we were kind of going into the deep end and my friend Timmy did a backside crail over the love seat. And all of a sudden I heard this like yipping and hooting and the air smelled differently, you know, like, you know, when there's like a storm about to happen, um, this just gaggle of women with skateboards and kind of walked in to this bowl acting like they belong there, you know, and they weren't even trying to like sit and watch us skate, you know, they just wanted to skate. And that was fucked up. Because, like, we are skateboarders. That's a, a male noun. And they are female skateboardesses. And I, I've never seen anything like that. It was women skateboarding. It was crazy. I guess you would call that a girl's session. Frederick presented his as a lover does to his betrothed. But the heat the fear of the unknown, and even the very pleasure of seeing at one glance so many women at his disposal excited him so strangely that he turned exceedingly pale and stood there without advancing a single step or uttering a word. All the girls burst out laughing, amused at his embarrassment. Fancying that they were ridiculing him, he ran away, and as Frederick had the money, Delorier was obliged to follow him. They were observed leaving the house, an episode which furnished material for a bit of local gossip which was remembered three years later. They related the story to each other in a fashion, each supplementing the narrative where the other's memory failed. And when they had finished the tale, I believe that that was the best time we ever had, said Frederick. Well, perhaps. Yes, I too believe that was the best time we ever had, said Delorier. Your line was cool, but um, there's something a little bit suspicious about the lack of flip tricks in this clip, and I suspect that you might have hooks above your trucks that connect your feet to your board. That frontside 50-50 was especially suspect. Um, so I guess as far as you went without flipping your board or really ollieing, this was a cool clip, but you need to get rid of those hooks and skate like a real man. Nah, man, you got it all wrong. Skateboarding is not about having fun or hanging out with your friends. It's about big air, big dudes, and big time maneuvers. Why are you showing me this girl carving? She's barely standing up on her grinds. This is boring. Skateboarding has to be one way and one way only. And if it isn't a great looking dude with a sick bod and cool tattoos doing something gnarly down a fat stack of steps, miss me, dude. It infuriates me that I have to watch this. Why are they filming her? I don't understand. This isn't fun for me. This isn't that gnarly. It's like these people have forgotten what skateboarding is about. Let me remind you, it's about gnarly maneuvers, usually performed by men. Not a girl, skating a bowl, having fun with her friends. This is stupid. I'm gonna quit. It's not lost on me, okay? I'm aware that a guy that spends literally all day filming himself commenting on other people's meaningless skate clips on Instagram and YouTube complaining that nothing very substantial happened in this clip is tantamount to a pot coughing black smoke as it calls its dark kettle neighbor black. I get it. I'm part of the problem. But you see, I've accepted that. I know that I'm ridiculous. I have dozens of confused mouth breathers who watch these videos for the sole purpose of telling the internet how unwatchable these videos are to affirm how truly pointless what I do is. It's too late for me, and I'm fine with that. But what's your excuse, dude? You're just a kid. I believe in you. I think you could actually do a trick in that bowl. It might not be a film-worthy trick, but it'll be something. And something is better than nothing. My life revolves around nothing. Leave nothing to me.